Right, tonight, tonight we're making a fabulous dish. This is Swedish meatballs. If you want to see how to make this. Hey everybody, it's Sunday night and we're going to be cooking dinner. And tonight we are making Swedish meatballs. They are a fabulous dish. And it's a, uh, really easy to make. So stay tuned. We'll show you exactly how to make it. And I'll show you our ingredients. Let me turn the camera. Our ingredients here, we've got our meatballs, of course. Use whatever meatballs you want. We've got some Lipton recipe onion secrets. One package of this. Some beef stock. We have four tablespoons or teaspoons of flour. Four teaspoons of butter. Equal parts of butter and flour mixture for your roux. We have some onions. And uh, we have some garlic chopped up. One teaspoon. Uh, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Some Bella mushrooms. Half cup of milk. A squirt of lemon juice. And that's about it to get started. First thing we're going to do is get our pan good and hot. And add in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in our pan. Our water is going for our egg noodles, which are over here. We put those in at the very last. First, we're going to get our meatballs going, first of all. We're going to finish them in the pan, or sear them, I should say, and finish them in the oven. Add a tablespoon or two of olive oil in there. Get the pan good and hot. Once it gets good and hot, we're going to put the meatballs in. Just brown them and finish them in the oven. Meatballs are in the pan. You want to hear that sizzle. That's very important. You want these browned on all sides. Finish them in the oven at 350 to the finish. Probably about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. Oh, it just came out of the pan. Got some nice color on all these. We're going to take these and they're going to go in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. And while that's going, we're going to make our sauce. Now, normally I'll cook them in the same pan, but my pan got a little dark. Yes, I even make mistakes sometimes. And if your pan gets a little dark, do not use it. If it gets a little too burnt because that flavor will transfer into your food. But normally I cook them in the same pan, deglaze the pan, cook them in there. But since my pan was a little dark, when it washed it out, we're going to start fresh with a new pan. Let me get these in the oven. This is the only place I have to set the camera up. So we got our pan going here. And to this, we're going to add some more olive oil. Get this going. A couple of tablespoons in there. And to the olive oil, once it heats up, we're going to go ahead and add some more butter. So this is not the butter that's going in later, this is this butter here. Add some fresh butter in there, real butter, not margarine, real butter. Get your real butter going. So this is our half stick of butter we had earlier. And get this going. Now this you have to really watch when you're making this gravy. See if I can zoom in a little bit here. Try to get this camera just right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add in at this time our garlic and our uh, mushrooms. So the garlic is going to go in first. Teaspoon of garlic. Let that cook for just a minute and get the raw garlic taste out. After this is going, we're going to go ahead and add in our mushrooms. Mushrooms are going in. By right now the mushrooms are in. Get these little stir. Get them all mixed in with the butter. Let them cook down a little while. While these are cooking down, we're going to go ahead and add in our onions to this once it's cooked down a little bit. So once the mushrooms are cooked down about halfway, again there, get nice and soft. Go ahead and add in your onions. Get the onions all mixed in. Cook them until they're translucent. By about that time, the mushrooms should be done. Then we'll start making our roux. And this will just add some chunkiness and thickness to our roux. Let this cook for just a few minutes. We'll get back with you. All right, our mushrooms are about where they want. They've been cooking now for a little bit. Nice and soft. Everything is cooked down. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add in our four teaspoons of flour to this. We're going to get this whisked in, swiss bar whisk. 
So it's all cooked in a little bit. If it's cooked down just for a few minutes, it's going to get all thick and pasty like that. That's the idea. Once we add in our um, stock and our milk, it'll really thin it out. Okay, at this point, we're going to go ahead and add in some chicken stock. This is the whole thing of chicken stock. I'm going to add just a little bit at a time. A little bit. Stir it in. The more you stir it in, the more it thickens up. And do it until it disappears. And keep doing this. This is what you want. You keep getting like pasty. The more you add, the more liquid, the thinner it'll get. Keep going. Spread this all in. Stay with this sauce. Keep staying with it. Now it's starting to look more like a gravy now. But it's still too thick. I'm going to thin it out some more. Keep adding more beef stock. A little bit at a time. Stir this in. It's getting almost where we want it, but not yet. More chicken or beef stock. Oh, if you want to make a good soup, this is a good recipe for a soup. Just keep doing this until it gets as thin as you want and add cheese or whatever you want to to it. Whatever seasonings you like. Normally I taste this as I go. So I'll get a little spoonful. Taste it. Mmm. It's great already, but we still have more flavoring going in. Take your lemon juice. I grabbed the one that wasn't open. Hold on. Helps to grab one that's already open. So just a squirt of lemon juice in it, just for a little acidity. That's it. That goes in there. We're going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Goes in. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add in our Lipton's recipe soup mix. That's going in. I'm going to stir all this. I'm going to let this cook for just a few minutes. Once this all gets cooked in, it's going to look delicious right now. I'm going to add a little bit more beef stock. Keep on to say chicken stock. And let that cook for just a second. You're going to get another spoon, so we're going to go ahead and taste this. Taste this now and see how we're going. Mmm, really good. And we haven't even added our milk yet. So you can adjust this to your flavor. Add salt and pepper to taste, whatever you like, add some more seasonings. Completely customize it however you like it. At this point in the menu, we're going to go ahead and add in a half cup of milk. This is going to add some um, creaminess to your dish. It's going to lighten up your sauce, make it a different color. Normally you use heavy cream, I don't have any, so I just use milk. But if you have a chance, get heavy cream. Meatballs are done, we're going to take those out. Let me get back. This came out of the oven. This is what they look like when they're all finished. When they let this sit for at least three or four minutes, let the meat rest. That allows all the juices to go back inside. And our sauce is still going over here. Our sauce is still going. I got it on about a medium high heat. Just continue to cook down for a little bit. It will thicken as it stands. Got our pot of water back here. Noodles fixing to go in there. I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of this beef stock. There's not much. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Thin this sauce out a little bit more. Okay, so I went and cut the meatballs open. They are well done. I normally eat my beef as far as like beef beef, like um, hamburger meat. Well done. If you want this medium rare, cook them however you want. Sauce is 100% finished. There it is all done. Noodles are all done. If you want to cook the noodles in the sauce, you can. 
I'll do them separate, mix it all together later. So, I'm gonna get, so this is our finished dish, I'll plate it up. I'm gonna grab the fork here, I'm gonna dig into this. A little bit of mush mushroom. Oh, and by the way, Kelly wanted to point out, this does have garlic and traditional Swedish meatballs doesn't have garlic, but I like garlic, so turn the camera around, get Let's see how this goes. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Onion-y, mushroomy flavor. You're going to enjoy it. So have fun. Good night.